Today I'll be talking about upper limb rescue blocks and uh, nerve blocks at the elbow. So why do we need uh, rescue blocks? Uh, there are uh, many variations at the formation of the brachial plexus. And uh, because of this, there can be missed segments and incomplete block. And at, at times there might be technical difficulties uh, that can actually cause the nerve blocks to be partial or incomplete or there might be missed segments. So coming to the anatomy of the blocks, uh, we are actually going to look at the three main nerves, uh, the radial nerve, the median nerve, and the ulnar nerve at the elbow level. So if you look at these nerves, and um, they are actually in uh, relation to the arteries, and the, especially the median nerve and the ulnar nerve. And if you can uh, look at this diagram, you will see that the median nerve lies medial to the brachial artery. And whereas a uh, later part of the forearm and the ulnar nerve and ulnar artery, uh, they follow each other uh, to the wrist. So we first will discuss about the radial nerve block. And uh, if you look at the radial nerve, uh, it lies on the elbow on the lateral side, uh, very close to the brachioradialis. And if you look at the uh, radial nerve, uh, one of the main uh, nerves that it supplies, sorry, the muscle it supplies is the supinator. So that's why uh, when uh, we uh, stimulate the radial nerve, you actually see supination uh, of the, uh, you know, the hand, you know, the forearm, which is actually seen as a response to the nerve stimulation. Also, the artery actually divides uh, very close to the elbow into the, uh, uh, you know, the muscular branch or the posterior interosseous branch and the superficial radial uh, nerve. And uh, when you actually do a wrist block, uh, all you're doing is actually blocking the superficial radial nerve and hence you will not get any of the uh, muscles uh, which are supplied by the radial nerve. Uh, you know, blocked if you do a block at the wrist. So block at the wrist is actually just for the cutaneous uh, branches. Okay. So here uh, we are going to show how to do the uh, radial nerve blocks. You can actually see my uh, hand, left hand, actually feeling uh, for the brachioradialis and the uh, groove uh, uh, between the brachioradialis and uh, the uh, the bone it's almost i mean you touch the almost as a bone and uh, where you, where you go with the uh, needle it's almost lying over the nerve uh, radial nerve and you st straight away actually see the response uh, at the wrist and this is obviously blah this is stimulating the posterior interosseous nerve and uh, that's why you're actually seeing that response uh, so it's very, very easy. Just just actually hold hold the brachioradialis uh, between uh, your fingers and your thumb uh, where your thumb lies. Uh, that is that is where uh, the, uh, we can okay, show you show you this again, uh, the initial part actually when you at least look, uh, pay attention to how I am actually holding uh, the hand. Okay, so there, that, that part, that's very important. So if you look at the same uh, nerve block uh, with ultrasound, all you need to do is actually place the ultrasound in the in the uh, your cubital fossa, uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, literally, and uh, you will actually see the nerve straight under it. It uh, uh, also gives a kind of, they call it a snake eye appearance. Uh, so that is uh, a radial nerve uh, block under ultrasound being performed. And uh, you can actually see the needle coming from the lateral side and uh, under the either nerve. And uh, you just deposit local anesthetic there between, uh, you know, just under the fascia there. So you can go above and below. You have to be careful uh, when you are actually under because there's usually a, a branch of the artery uh, can be actually seen pulsating there. You don't want to actually do any uh, kind of, uh, you know, intraarticular injection. 
So that's uh, the uh, radial nerve block, and it's just around 35 ml, so 0.375 or 0.5 percent. Uh, maybe we can we likely do that. Uh, coming to the median nerve, median nerve, uh, the elbow lies in relation to the brachial artery, and uh, you can actually see that. So top is actually uh, the distal part, and bottom uh, is the proximal part in this uh, anatomical diagram. <clears throat> Uh, you can actually see the uh, median nerve lying over the deep uh, head of front arteries. And it actually, the superficial head, it lies between the superficial and the deep head of front arteries, just uh, made to the brachial artery. And uh, if you look at the uh, uh, diagram for the muscles, it supplies. So this is uh, actually here, it's showing uh, the nerve lying between the two heads, superficial and deep head of pronotaries TV. So it does supply the pronotaries, uh, which you will actually see when I actually stimulate uh, the nerve and see that. Okay. Okay, here, so you feel for the artery and uh, you just go medial to the artery at uh, the elbow crease and uh, you should get the, the response uh, for the median nerve. And uh, you will actually see the median response is actually a very typical response. So like I say, it does actually supply the uh, uh, supinator. So you will actually see the uh, wrist, you know, and the hand trying to go into supination. And so here I think I'm slightly lower down and as you can see that the nerve is actually uh, is slightly deeper. So if you're actually slightly proximal, this is just below the crease. I'm here at the, just below the crease. So you need to be actually, I think more, a little bit more proximal and uh, then you would actually see the response a lot more easier. So these, these are actually, so this is actually a uh, uh, pretty easy uh, block to do. Uh, so with ultrasound, uh, this is on a, obviously, this is not in the theaters. Uh, this is on a volunteer, uh, not doing the block. I'm just showing how the needle is approached uh, from the medial side. So your probe is in the uh, uh, the uh, cubital fossa. Uh, you look for the artery and you go medial to the artery and deposit local anesthetic. So let's have, have a look at a video of that. So here you can actually see pulsation of the artery and the nerve is lying uh, just under it. Uh, so on the green side, the aspect marker, that is uh, the medial side. So I'm climbing from the medial side. So you can actually see the uh, local anesthetic being deposited just under the nerve and it uh, moves all around it. You can go a little bit. Yeah, again, be careful that you don't want to do a intraarticular injection of the you know, on the top of its vein, uh, of the artery is lying a vein as well, so uh, you don't uh, actually want to go uh, near it. Uh, on our nerve, on our nerve, and uh, uh, so uh, if you look at the arm again, the top is prox uh, is a distal part, and bottom is the the uh, proximal part here. So if you actually were to divide into uh, you know four parts and I look at the uh, proximal one-fourth and distal uh, three-fourth. The artery uh, starts meeting the nerve uh, at the lower uh, three-fourth. Uh, so in the upper uh, one-fourth, the uh, nerve is lying on its own. On our artery only meets the nerve later on uh, in that. So uh, here we tend to actually block the uh, nerve um, in the uh, so proximal one fourth part, and you go almost perpendicular uh, to the forearm uh, to get that. This can be slightly fiddly, uh, but you will likely, uh, if you manipulate, you will likely get a response. And uh, so lower down, you can actually see in that uh, that in the proximal part, the nerve is lying on its own. Uh, but in a distal part, the artery accompanies the nerve. This is again showing uh, the diagrammatically. And so this is on a nerve and an artery line to each other. And uh, these are the various muscles that are supplied by the, the nerve. It supplies a lot of the uh, muscles of the, of the hand. Okay, yeah, okay. 
So here uh, you can actually do the honor uh, proximally or distally. So we are actually going to show in this uh, both uh, the proximal and distal honor blocks. So as you can see that I'm going almost perpendicular to the forearm and uh, we'll try to get like it is slightly fiddly so you will likely have to again uh, you know manipulate the needle a little bit uh, and on this i think I, I am not absolutely perpendicular so i think that's why yeah, it's difficult i have to manipulate that uh, needle a little bit more but if you're a little bit more perpendicular to the forearm it's much easier uh, to get get the response uh, if we actually see so you do struggle, struggle a bit if your landmarks are not right. Uh, and you can actually see that I'm actually going at almost 45 degrees. It should have gone at almost 90 degrees. But uh, when you are actually doing a demonstration at times, this actually becomes a little bit uh, difficult. So, uh, so, so you see that try to actually manipulate uh, repeatedly to actually get the response. And this is good. You can actually have to see the expert struggling. Uh, while doing doing this block, okay. yeah. I still didn't actually may uh, do that. I continued actually persisting doing it at 45 degrees, which is actually not the right thing to do. You can actually do it at 45 degrees, but if you actually see, see the response, yeah, you can actually see the fingers switching. And uh, once you get uh, down to uh, you know 0.4 to 0.5. Uh, milliamps, you can actually inject the local anesthetic and the response disappears. And here you can actually see this is a 50 millimeter needle. This is almost three centimeters deep. So it is slightly deeper at that level. The nerve is a little deeper at that level. I'm also showing how to do the proximal response. So again, you feel for the artery and you just go uh, medial to the, uh, to the artery. So that is the anatomical Position of the arm, and then you say straight away. You know, it's so superficial. You get straight, straight away. You see the response uh, within that. So you need to just inject around three to five ml, so 0.375 or 0.5 uh, in a percent of liver pipivacaine or bipivacaine uh, for these these blocks. So when you're doing it ultrasound guided, that you need to just put the probe on the upper one fourth of the arm or the forearm. Uh, perpendicular to the forearm and you will likely see the nerve uh, straight away. So we'll likely see that. So here you actually, actually can actually see the nerve uh, very clearly and uh, the uh, artery actually lying, lying here a little bit uh, just uh, you know uh, under it. So this is uh, sort of uh, at the one four. So if you actually go higher up uh, you will see that the nerve and the arteries, uh, they are uh, lying far away. So the artery only joins in the uh, lower uh, part of the forearm. That is at the junction of one fourth and three fourth of the arm, you will actually see the artery joining. So here you can actually see a muscular branch as well coming off the artery. Again, you just go over it. Uh, if you're in the right plane, local anesthesia spreads very nicely. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's again uh, not a very difficult block to do. Uh, so with that, uh, we actually cover um, the rescue blocks at the elbow. Uh, risk blocks uh, are uh, can also be done on the ultrasound, but there are very few indications for doing risk blocks. And uh, it's easier to actually do the blocks more proximally, get better uh, in a coverage. And like I've shown, a lot of the muscles are supplied by these nerves uh, more superficially.